area that's left the country almost bankrupt. But conflict between the North and South was born with Somalia. It actually goes back a very long way because Northern Somalia was originally a British colony and Southern Somalia was originally an Italian uh, colony. And the two were joined together when the Somali Democratic Republic was set up. And the North has always felt that it hasn't really had a fair deal from the South and that it hasn't had the kind of uh, distribution of posts and positions that it ought to have. It's been compounded recently by the fact that a couple of years ago the president had a serious car crash. He ran into the back of a bus and very nearly died. He was taken in a coma to Saudi Arabia. And this has exacerbated the situation. has meant that a lot of people have decided that it's time to try and put themselves in a good position in case the president did die. Tonight there's confusion over just how far the SNM rebels have advanced. It seems the town of Boreo was taken temporarily earlier this week. Berbera may also have seen battles, and the road from there to the city of Hargeisa, where most of the aid workers were based, has also, it seems, been attacked. Certainly the radio station went off the air. The SNM claim they're close to victory in the north, despite a remarkable difference in numbers. It's thought about 3,000 rebels are up against as many as 30,000 government troops. Uh, for quite some time, the rural areas have been under our control, uh, but uh, during the recent offensive, we have uh, taken over uh, most of the urban centers. Uh, Hargeisa now is in our hands, which is the second capital of the country, and which is the main town in the northern regions. And the second one to that, which is Bora'o, again a regional capital, and a very, very important and strategic area and many other district uh, capitals and towns and villages and all these things are in our hands at the moment. The Somali government says there's no unrest and no reason for the aid workers to have left at all. The regions in the north are tranquil. The road connecting Mogadishu with the north is also uh, clear and safe. The uh, traffic has not been uh, hampered even uh, for one hour and many things has been these pictures shot a week later on the rebel side show members of the SNM moving freely in several areas of Hargeisa the biggest town in what was once the British ruled part of Somalia captured government military equipment helped the SNM sustain their offensive <laughs> The government's efforts to dislodge the rebels have been masterminded by General Morgan, the flamboyant regional army commander seen here during recent field operations. Desertions are said to have sapped army morale and effectiveness. The government used aircraft as well as artillery against the rebels in Hargeisa. The pictures from the rebel side show the consequences of the fighting. An American aid official who's just visited Hargeisa, one of very few foreigners to do so since the evacuation, says a quarter of the town lies in ruins and many more buildings are badly damaged. There have been heavy casualties on both sides and among the civilian population. Eyewitness reports of summary executions of suspected SNM supporters by the army brought condemnation from human rights groups. The current concern is the refugee problem created by the fighting. Most of Hargeisa's estimated population of a quarter of a million have sought refuge initially in the surrounding countryside. Little or no help has been available there, and the result has been a massive exodus across the border into Ethiopia. Upwards of 4,000 people are reported to be arriving each day at camps that are desperately short of water and have worryingly low stocks of high-energy food for the malnourished. There are fears that these camps could be the scene of yet another disaster.